Okay, I think I have a good idea. Oh, I'll make it uh, the shooting out the dispensers. Ooh, I got an idea. Why should he replace me? Why is there cobwebs? Because that's where the villagers can enter the Let's Okay, Charles. Oh my god. one book already and I gave that to George and what we're doing is we're making a book for each clue which are right here and we're hiding them around the world Question. You are going to find the first question in this chest right by the checkout desk in the library. This chair is over there. The chest with the clue in it, the answer is right here. Answer one. And so you'll take that out and do the same thing. And I'm going to write another book that has the next question in it, and then it's going to lead to the next chest that has that answer in it and then it's going to have another question and so on and so forth. So, um, whenever someone scores a goal on either side, it, dispense, it dispenses Matthew. a clue and that redstone would Hello. represent the clue. Matthew, so, and there's a lot of redstone work behind this. Behind the scenes look. There's all this stuff. All this. So whenever I see those little red things, that's redstone? Yes, this is redstone. You use it and it sends signals and... It's like electricity. It's, yeah, it's basically electricity. This is the prize system. Get it right, it activates this and drops the prize out of here. So you enter, you would have the you would have the question and basically whatever you think the answer is, answer A. Answer B, C, D. So hi Matthew. So yeah, this is where you answer everything. Yes.
Hello, I'm Drew. Uh, today I'm a part of the Minecraft project, which is, a school, which is a school club that's been going on for about, I'd say since the beginning of the year. Now we've had a few, we've had a couple of difficulties, but we've kind of found our smooth, so our smooth kind of route, you know what I mean? Like, such as, well, we had this great idea of a castle, which I'd gotten from a book I'd recently read, and I told everybody about it, they seemed to like it. And so we started building it. I'd say we got maybe about 20% through it. And then that's when the problem started. Dr. Hill, you see, she was on her computer, I could say, and I guess it crashed and it lost the entire data for the entire thing. It was devastating because all the hard work that we'd had was gone, like nothing. And then so, again, I had an idea. We were all lost about what we should do. And then I, I was just like, wait, we're doing this in a library. A library is in our everyday project. A library is pretty much everything. And then so, why not do a library? And that's where we are today. Annabelle. And why are you in the Minecraft Club? I'm in here because I like to play Minecraft. And yeah, I might be a girl, but girls can have fun too on computers and video games. Um, I'm Ella, and the reason I joined Minecraft Club is because my friend was in it, and she told me about how awesome it was to create a digital citizen, uh, citizenship um, environment, and I wanted to try it out. So what is a digital citizenship environment? It's teaching kids how to be safe and smart online, and so we're trying to create a place where we can like help kids understand like not to be rude online, not to just like post something of them without them knowing, like getting permission, but also to be nice online and not just say mean things about other people that you're gonna regret, so. Yeah. Well, they need to understand not to trust everybody online because some people will try and trick you. So you always have to be careful around, like always ask um, before going online, ask what websites that you can use. Because if you go onto this completely fake website, it's you might give you false information. Yeah, and, and sometimes it can even expose you to dangers like strangers online. Yeah, okay. this might look easy to you, but there's so much that goes into making this. Again, it's not all easy stuff. We had to use a lot of redstone. I'm not that good with redstone, so I... We have George. Yeah, we have George. He's <laughs> really good with this. Hi, my name is George, and so I've been working on most of the redstone. So, I've basically just been placing a lot of redstone, which is basically electricity flowing through wire like items to power and activate items. So I think this is going to turn out well because we can just hit a lever and it get, can give you a prize, it can do whatever it needs to. And well, younger students are going to learn more about digital citizenship because that's the whole point of this. Hi, my name is Matthew. So the questions are about digital citizenship. So they're going to help kids learn how to be safe online while doing it in a um, fun way through a video game. So they're gonna walk through this whole course and at the same time, they're gonna be answering um, these digital citizenship questions. So it'll help them become a better person online and having fun while they're learning how to become a better citizen. So what age level are you gearing this game, uh, the players to be? Uh, the players are going to be, um, of course they're going to be younger than us because we don't just want older kids who already know most of this stuff. So for younger kids who don't know much about um, the bad things online, um, so like two to three years, one year maybe, um, younger than us. And so that will teach them how to be safe online. It also teaches them if they're doing a report about a book or something interesting they found, how to know which information is true and false. So 
So they can tell the difference of a hoax website, which is a website that tries to trick you, and a true website that is made for educational use and for reports, um, just work you need for school. I'm Travis, and I believe that everybody has their own strength. Well, I believe um, Emmanuel's strength is building things with redstone, while George's is hooking things up with redstone. Because right now he's making a redstone contraption that I don't know what it does. It's just for the Minecraft. It's just for the Minecraft library. Um, and um, I and a few other people have skills at building things. And also, um, there are people who just, like, Ella is making the questions, and we are putting the questions, and I'm the person who's hiding them, because I sometimes can be very good at hiding things. So that is what we are all doing, and we all have our good times and our bad times. Hi, I'm Emmanuel, and I'm in the Minecraft club. Do you, how do you feel about everybody working as a team? Is the team really coming together? Um, yes. Uh, we do have some arguments, but everything worked out. We found a solution to the problem of of what's the person, the member, arguing about. And how do you think that the um, the final result, the final game, is going to turn out? I think it's going to turn out great. Um, I'm just working on a treehouse that is going to hold some clues. So made out of emerald, which is probably one of my favorite things in Minecraft, besides horses. <laughs>